Top 10 Future Skyscrapers in the World Hello friends, welcome to Just Top 10. Since the beginning of history, humans have tried to reach the skies. Living in big houses was associated with being at the top of the social hierarchy. If you look up before at one of those iconic, landmark tower structures, you understand how amazing they can be. The craze for tall towers started from Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, during the latter 90s, and continues to this day. This list of future tallest buildings ranks the tallest buildings in the world which are proposed, approved or under construction. Let's start our video. On number 10, we have Ulaman World Capital Center. The World Capital Center is a proposed skyscraper to be constructed in Colombo, Sri Lanka. With 117 floors and a planned height of 2,051 feet, with the presence of the Board of Investment of Sri Lanka, Chairman Yupal Jayasuriya, WCC Chairman Ahmed Maulana, and other officials. However, the BOI clarified that the project approval was granted in principle, and that the investor failed to show a credible track record, and failed to show 200 million US dollar in funding before the end of December 2017. Thus, the agreement was cancelled. On number 9, Chung Chun World Trade Center. The China World Trade Center is located in Chaoyang District, the central business district of Beijing. The construction of the complex started in 1985 and was completed in 2010. The China World Trade Center is the largest building complex of Beijing, consisting of around 14 components including hotels all of Shangri-La, shopping malls, offices, apartments, convention rooms, and an exhibition hall. It can be located in the Beijing Central Business District in Guomao. China World Trade Center is well known for being the largest upmarket commercial mixed-use site in the world and for keeping its reputation as an internationally friendly community. On number 8, Signature Tower Jakarta. Signature Tower is a proposed skyscraper in Jakarta, Indonesia. The proposed height is 2,093 feet. It was originally proposed in 2010 and was slated to begin construction in 2015. Planning permission for the tower was granted in late 2015. Construction was scheduled to begin in the third quarter of 2016, assuming a loan of approximately $1.5 billion could be successfully secured. China State Construction Engineering has been appointed to construct the tower. The tower is expected to be completed by 2022. The skyscraper is a part of a 45-hectare redevelopment project near the Semangi Interchange and is just south of the Jelora Bunkano Stadium. On number 7, H700 Shenzhen Tower. Plans have been submitted for China's tallest skyscraper, the 2,425 feet H700 Shenzhen Tower. Anchoring the gateway to Shenzhen's central business district, the scheme also includes a public plaza that provides retail, civic, and institutional programs. This tower is designed by Chicago-based company BKL Architecture. On number 6, we have Merdeka 118. Merdeka 118 is a 118-story, 2,113 feet megatall skyscraper, currently under construction in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. It is the tallest building under construction as of September 2020. Upon completion, the structure will become the tallest building in Malaysia and Southeast Asia, and the second tallest building in the world. When completed in 2021, the tower will be the tallest building in Malaysia. It will consist of 4,300,000 square feet of residential, hotel and commercial space. On number 5, we have Tower M. Tower M, formerly called the KLCC Eastgate Tower, is a proposed megatall skyscraper project in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, located at Kuala Lumpur City Centre, KLCC. The new building could comprise three office towers on top of a retail podium and come up on four acres of land named lots L, L1 and M, next to the Mass Rapid Transit, MRT, KLCC East Station. 
It is planned to be 2,297 feet high and have 145 stories. In July 2018, KLCCH, the landowner stated that there are no immediate plans to construct the office towers. If the demand arises planning is unlikely to start before the year 2030. On number 4, Shimao, Shenzhen Hong Kong International Center. Construction is underway on the Shimao Shenzhen Hong Kong International Center, a 668-meter, high megatall skyscraper in Shenzhen, China. Details of the design are sparse and the architect is unknown, but the Shenzhen Tower is the project of Chinese property developers the Xiamo Group, which has reportedly invested 50 billion yuan in the project. Located in the Longgang district in the eastern part of Shenzhen, the center is expected to have a floor plan of 321,900 square meters. On number 3rd, Dubai One Tower. The Dubai One Tower is a proposed megatall residential building in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. At 2,333 feet it would be the tallest residential building in the world, and the fourth tallest building in the world when completed. It will feature 885 residential apartments and a five-star hotel with 350 rooms. As of March 2017 this tower is still intended to be built, with Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum laying the groundwork for construction of the associated mall. It is expected to be completed in 2023. On number 2nd, Burj Mubarak Al Kabir. The Burj Mubarak Al Kabir is a proposed mega tall skyscraper in Kuwait City, Kuwait. It will be part of the future city called Madinat Al Hair. Expected completion is likely to be around in 2030. If built, it would become the world's tallest building, surpassing the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Its height is in order to reflect the folktale collection 1001 Arabian Nights. If built, the tower would be the tallest skyscraper in Kuwait, surpassing Al Hamra Tower. Skyscrapers do not normally exceed 80 floors due to the amount of space that would be taken up by elevators. However, the Mubarak Al Kabir Tower would consist of a far greater number of floors. This would necessitate double or triple decker elevators. On top 1, Jeddah Tower. At the forefront of worldwide skyscraper activity, Jeddah Tower represents an unprecedented exercise that dares to go beyond the one-kilometer threshold, a hype that seemed only to exist in fantasy just years ago. Inspired by a bundle of leaves shooting up from the ground, it is meant to emanate the growth, prosperity, and regional emergence of its homeland on the global stage, a role that many of the world's tallest buildings have played in their respective locales. The multivariate form of the tower is rationalized by a wire-shaped plan and a continuously smooth taper, which will significantly reduce structural loads by obviating the need for the complicated outrigger transfers and belt trusses required in a setback approach. Furthermore, each wing of the tower will terminate at different heights, allowing them to taper at different rates and establish a distinct three-part spire. Thank you guys, for watching this video. We hope you liked this video. If you want to suggest us any topic, please comment below in comment box. Don't forget to subscribe our channel, and press the bell icon. Take care of yourselves, friends and family members. Bye for now. Adios amigos.